Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's the professional here. So apparently they released a teaser trailer for the next um, for the next update. And it's kind of strange that Rockstar did it on a Monday because they usually don't announce things on a Monday. It's either on a Tuesday or a Thursday. And this appears to be a teaser with just no release date other than July 2018. So we don't know the exact date that it's coming out. Like a 30 second teaser and some uh, info. So I'm going to give you guys my reaction. When I woke up this morning, I had some people post comments on my channel saying that the new, the new trailer for the next DLC is out. At first I thought it was a joke because a lot of people post comments to me saying that the trailer for the next DLC is out. I go and check and there's nothing out there. So we have it. So it's confirmed. It is nightclubs apparently. So let's take a look at this teaser let's break it down let's see if we can uh what we can see in it so let's take a look right here let's do this in uh let's do this in full screen too okay let's see okay well Okay. July, that's the only thing I really know. We weren't able to really see anything from that trailer except the fact that there was just a bunch of people dancing. I saw the DJs and I saw a guy standing on the rail. I'm assuming that the guy that's standing on the rail is the GTA Online um, character. But um, let's take a look at the info here. Let's read that and let's see if there's anything in here that we can find. Um, the nightlife scene in Los Santos is getting a major update. Thanks to the efforts of one well-known, uh, well-connected, and somewhat financially sound impresario, the underground dance club scene is about to blow open in July. World-class talent have announced their upcoming resi residencies in Los Santos, and fans will soon be packing out clubs and warehouses across town to lose themselves in, in sweaty, ecstatic uh, bliss to hear new sets from Solomon, Tale of Us, Dixon, and the Black Madonna while dancing through the night, night and into the morning. Okay, so we know there's going to be new music with this update. Okay, that's going to be that's going to be good. That's a plus. Nightclubs are the perfect cover for any operation you might have going. So get in on the ground level as business partner to open up a brand new establishment. Okay, right here. So we know it's going to be a new property that we're going to own. It's a it's a this is this confirms that it's going to be a new property that we're going to own and it's going to be a business also. So you're going to be able to make money from it. And help the DJs to make their shows the best ever. Run your nightclub business from setup, design, staffing, and promotion. The more popular the club, the faster your secure wall safe will fill up. Okay, so look, I like this idea. This is this is a good idea right here. I'm actually happy. I actually like the idea of this DLC. I like it because I'm actually happy it's not another military update. If it was another military update, I wouldn't like that because there's just way too much military stuff in this game. It's just my opinion. The only military stuff that I would be okay with is if they did naval because they haven't done naval before. But other than that, no more ground and air um, militarized vehicles. Just too much. Something good, something different that they can add. And you don't need to... You don't need weaponized vehicles to get a good update. I mean, look at bikers. Bikers added all the MC businesses, the cocaine, the meth, the weed, counterfeit cash, document forgery, the clubhouse, club work, motorcycle clubs, contracts. It added so much content, but yet it had almost no weaponized vehicles in it, and it was one of the best updates ever. So you don't need weaponized vehicles to be a good update. So I'm, I'm happy they're focusing more on the business side, more something, another new business to make money in, something new to do in free mode. That's what this game needs. It need, needs new activities in free mode, something new to do in free mode. So these nightclubs are apparently going to fill that in. And what I like about here is it says set up design staffing and promotion. Okay, so we're obviously, you're obviously going to have to buy the nightclub and you're going to have to customize it too. You're probably going to have to buy upgrades, probably, probably like different dance floors, maybe like a different DJ you can hire, like, you know, different, uh, I can picture already like different, maybe like different colors in the walls, like all kinds of different things that they can maybe like add at a big bar, like a small bar or a big bar you can add to like the club. There's all different kinds of things that I could picture them adding. Um, and it says here that promotion the more popular the club the faster your your secure wall safe will fill up i like that idea maybe like what it's implying is that we're going to be competing with other nightclubs and i like that idea it's going to be some a, a new way to compete with people it's not going to be something stupid not going to be something stupid like blowing up other people's cargo like they had that's a lot of people say that's competition that's not competition that's just that's just stupid blowing up people's cargo but this is going to give you a fun way supposedly a fun way to compete with other players which player has the best club and which player is making the most money in the lobby something new to compete 
who makes the most money versus who has the best KD or or all that other stuff a lot of these other players these PvP players go for so this is gonna be something new if you're I, I'm if you're a grinder I'm assuming that you're gonna like this DLC a lot um and I hope this I hope this this business has some kind of skill to it some kind of like some kind of like intelligence needed like you have to think things out you have to say okay this will make me money here and this and you have to plan it out and I mean the player that has the best clubs uh, set up will probably make the most amount of money that'll be I think that'll be pretty cool I think that that would be I don't know how that's gonna generate money my best prediction my best prediction and I guess we'll we'll see how we'll see how um uh, this plays out but my prediction is what's probably gonna happen is it's probably gonna be similar to the single player clubs like you could own that the tequila la for Franklin in the single player and what happens with that is you get paid every week but my theory is you're probably gonna get paid every hour that's what I think at least uh, every every hour every 48 minutes because that's one in game day I think you're probably gonna get paid one in game day and I don't think it's gonna be that much I think it might be like 200,000 150,000 like a day but it's gonna be like easy money that you just get just for like an hour of playing and what I think is gonna happen you're probably gonna have to buy security that's almost probably gonna happen because it happens with all the other businesses you're probably gonna have to buy security and then you're gonna have a club manager that's gonna be talking to you and the club manager is gonna be like a new contact in the phone or like the DJ is gonna be a new contact in the phone and they're gonna call you up and say hey the club's under attack and you got to go over there and there's gonna be like the Vagos the Lost the Balas shooting up the club and then you got to stop them if you don't stop them the club gets shut down that's just my theory on what I think is gonna happen but I guess I guess we'll see and and Tony Tony from the ballad in GTA GTA 4 he might come back he might be a contact he might be the guy that gives you advice on running clubs so let's see if there's anything else here okay um fill up management is honest work a tidy way to keep income from your more seedy ventures with disruption logistics the open road securo serve and free trade shipping looking uh uh looking clean as fresh laundry okay uh, on how to get the guest list and earn exclusive rewards okay so what i think is going to happen is they say guest list here and, and up here they said upcoming residencies i hope that that means that there's going to be mansions i don't think that that's necessarily what they mean but i hope that that's what they mean here but it looks like there's going to be celebrities world-class talent have announced their upcoming residencies in los angeles okay so there's probably going to be celebrities actors musicians those kinds of people that you can uh and that you can bring to your club and if you bring those people to your club maybe that's how you make money and maybe there's going to be some kind of competition on which player can bring which which um, celebrity to their club. And then that celebrity generates money for you. And it might be similar to the ballad because in GTA 4 and the ballad, what happened is you had something called club work where you would you would basically do these missions and you, you weren't really making money from them because you were more of a you were more of the uh, worker in the club. And so you didn't you didn't actually own the club, but the celebrities, you had different missions for them. You had to pick them up. You had to take them away from the paparazzi. You had to bring them to the to the club or take them away from it. There was all these different kinds of missions. And what I'm thinking is that might be something just like that, where you have to bring the celebrities to the club or drive them away from the paparazzi that's chasing you. Or there might be something else. Might, maybe there's going to be something insane. Like maybe there's going to be like competing over who steals the celebrity. That might be kind of crazy, but like other players might kill each other in the lobbies. Like there might be a celebrity that might spawn in, the, in free mode. And then whoever picks that celebrity, up first they'll go to their club that might be like that and all the players might race there and they might kill each other along the way trying to pick up that celebrity and then that celebrity will generate more money for you more money for you than, than a normal club that's what I that's what it might be like but I guess we'll see we'll see what my predictions are like let me know what you guys think down below in the comments do you agree with me do you what do you think of my predictions do you like this business idea I like it because at least it's something new it's something new to uh it's something new that's not weaponized vehicles, wasn't the Doomsday Heist, a new business in free mode, a new way to generate money. And this, it might be solo friendly because I know a lot of my, a lot of my subscribers, they always ask me for solo methods. This might be solo friendly. The clubs, this might be solo friendly because it doesn't seem like you're going to be doing cargo work. You're not going to really need a lot of people to pick up cargo. It doesn't seem like there's any cargo, no supplies or any of that. So this might be solo friendly. I guess we'll see. And however this generates money i will make a money guide on this because i know you guys like my money guides when this dlc comes out i will play this dlc as much as possible i'll buy the best club i'll customize it i'll experiment with different methods and i'll make an effective money guide how to make the most amount of money with your club and what to do and what not to do so hope you guys enjoyed let me know in the comments what do you think of this do you think this dlc is fun do you like the idea let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the video like i'll see you on the next one take care everyone